So amblyopia is uh, when an eye doesn't see well. And we can, if we find amblyopia, then we can treat it by giving the person glasses or patching. As children are susceptible to amblyopia because their brain is developing and if they have a need for glasses or have a strabismus where their eye is turned in, then the brain will turn off, they'll have amblyopia and they have a limited time in which you can treat it. So if you can find it earlier, they seem to respond much quicker to the treatment. So we have, we're, we were very excited to look at the data over the last 10 years to find out that we could reliably screen children after the age of one up until three to get them to medical attention earlier so that their treatment uh, would be um, started sooner. The, the main thing that we look for, that the vision screening is so key for, is that the refractive error, because the child looks completely normal, and yet they have amblyopia and their eye doesn't see well and they don't come to treatment. So if children have strabismus or if they have a cataract, they're picked up much earlier. But without vision screening programs, then you won't find amblyopia because the child looks normal but can't see well out of one eye. So they function normally, but can't, but without treatment, that one eye will never see well. So it was an opportunity to show the, the medical community that we feel that, you know, vision screening is reliable in one to three year olds and should not be uh, avoided, that we should actually try to screen these children to find amblyopia or lazy eye sooner. Amblyopia is treated with a eye patch, and so typically we use a sticky uh, band-aid-like patch that they wear, so it is visible to their friends, their families, so there is a social stigma to the treatment. However, the treatment is extremely successful when done correctly.